Fabrizio Romano has given us an update on Benjamin Shesko transfer rumours, of course, to Arsenal. Uh, he's also stated two other clubs, Manchester United and Chelsea, all in for the player. Uh, we're here for the transfer update, guys. Smash like button on the video. Make sure to leave a thoughts in the comments down below. And uh, let's go. Welcome back, guys, to another Arsenal transfer news show. Oh, like Declan Rice has officially signed for Arsenal. Plays in for the start of the season, for it. We'll just get, they'll get some before the start. So, guys, Fabrizio Romano provides an update on an 18 goal Man United and Arsenal target. Um, so RB Leipzig, Benjamin Sesko decided to take a few more days to make a decision over his future as Manchester United, Arsenal and Chelsea have a strong interest in 21-year-old ahead of the summer transfer window. Um, of course, the Slovenian international has became one of the mo Europe's most after talents following his very strong finish to the current campaign. Sesko scored in all Leip Leipzig's last seven games in the Bundesliga, which took his total for the season to 18 in all competitions. The answer has proven to be a lethal marksman given, given his age, there's a lot more room for improvement. Uh, the strikers are contract in, in Germany until 2028, but there's a good chance that Leipzig star will switch clubs in the summer. So, according to Fabrizio Romano, Sesko decided to take a few more days to decide his next move as the forward has a lot of options on the table. The transfer journey set states that there's a new contract ready to be signed with RB Leipzig, while a 21-year-old has already turned down and moved to Saudi Arabia. Manchester United, Arsenal and Chelsea have all approached the civilian star uh, since March such April, with all these clubs being the, the destination where likely uh, Sesco is likely to end up. Um, Ma uh, Manchester United, Arsenal and Chelsea are all desperate in need of a strike heading into the 24-25 campaign, and Sesco would be a great choice for the present and future. The 21-year-old most likely wants to move to the Emirates Stadium, and the current project at Arsenal is very exciting and is likely to be better under Mick Arteta's watch. The other two suitors... Um, are a mess at present and transfer to either English club will be a huge gamble from Sesco. With Rasmus Hoyland already at Old Trafford, there's a scenario where Leipzig would have to share minutes. While at Chelsea, that will not be a problem. The 21-year-old has had made a huge decision over the coming days of the Premier League. are left to see what conclusion the, uh, the youngster reaches. So, that is that there, confirmed there by Fabrizio Romano. So, yeah, guys, let's talk about, you know, this deal then and Benjamin Shesko, what I think is going to happen with this deal. And I was always leaving thoughts about this down below, but Fabrizio pretty much saying he's not decided anything yet. Um, there's so, so many reports going around from different, you know, sort of journalists saying he's he's made a decision that he wants to come to Arsenal. You know, we had the whole John Cross situation with the mirror saying Sesko's agreed. He said yes to joining Arsenal. Um, but Fabrizio came out and said he's not even made a decision yet. Then we had the whole talk about Arsenal set a deadline before the Euros to sign this guy. Um, but yeah, I mean, he has a few decisions to make, Sesko, you know. He could sign a new contract and he could be staying at Leipzig if he really wanted to. Uh, let's talk of him signing a new contract there, renewing his, renewing his deal, um, which will make it very hard for any club to get him. Um, and also, if he has a good Euros as well, only his price tag and his price value will increase, as we know. We've seen it with many players in the past. So, yeah, he has a few decisions to make, of course. Um, as you know, the article said yet there, three clubs in for him. We know Arsenal heavily in linked with him, Manchester United and Chelsea as well. Um, and this is the thing, this is the thing, you know, there's three clubs in for him. When it comes with Chelsea, that is the one. I mean, I look at Man United and I think, would he really go there when they've got Rasmus Hoyland there? Would he really want to be fighting for Rasmus Hoyland's place as a striker there? I don't see Man United signing him. Chelsea, however. We know need a striker. We know when it comes with Arsenal and Chelsea, this is going to sort of rise me about this deal if Chelsea are involved. Because when, I mean, if you look on the basis right now, personal terms, okay, for Sesco, he'd want to come to Arsenal over Chelsea. 100% want to come over. You know, we're in a, such a better position right now. We're a bigger football club than them. You know, we have more history than them. And yeah, he, it's Arsenal. Yeah, he's going to choose Arsenal over Chelsea, right? But the issue is, is I've seen the same thing happen with Mikhailo Mudrik in January. Mikhailo Mudrik wanted to come to Arsenal in January. Mikhailo Mudrik was twerking for Arsenal, posting pictures of him in an Arsenal kit. Yeah, watching himself link with Arsenal. The guy who wanted to come to Arsenal, filming, on watching Arteta saying, great manager on, on his story, yeah? 
Mikhailo Mudrik was twerking for Arsenal. He wanted to come to Arsenal. You can tell he wanted to come to Arsenal. Personal terms on with you. But Chelsea came in and it was all about the money. The money spoke and the money does talk. And it could be the same situation here. Shakhtar, and I know I'm talking, this is an example I'm using, yeah, when, when we up against Chelsea in the transfer window. Shakhtar wanted a certain amount of money. Shakhtar, Shakhtar said, we want 95 million end of. Arsenal was, still, Arsenal was you know, still, still on the deal saying, you know, here's 75, here's 80. Chelsea was like, oh, we want Mudrik. How much money Mudrik joins? Doesn't matter about personal terms because they pay the money and money talks. At the end of the day, I can see the same situation here. If Arsenal do not get the priority and act fast, we need to beat Chelsea to the still if we really, really want this player. And we know what the price tag is going to be around. 55 million, 65 million. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's, it's, it's around that sort of price tag for Benjamin Shesko. But this, if we really want this player, let's learn from a lesson. Let's not lose up to Chelsea like we did for McCallum Mudrick deal. Um, as I said, I, I don't think that Manchester United, as do it makes more sense for him to come to Arsenal or a Chelsea. Um, and as we know, with Benjamin Shesko, I spoke many times about the player as in general, you know, had a very tough start to his Leipzig career, was on the bench for the first six months, and then towards the end of the season, he, you know, was scoring in every single game pretty much and he ended the season very very strongly he looks you know he looks very good in terms of aerially ability wise i know he's six foot five as well i think he has so much similarities to to kai havertz um is he a player that's going to get us a league title no he's in, in my opinion and i could be wrong i don't think he is um and i in my opinion i don't think he's a bad player benjamin shesko by any means i think he's you know got some great potential i think you know he's young and upcoming i think he's shown that he can you know, do it at the high level. We know we're going to see him on a big stage for his country in the Euros. I've seen him a few times in the Champions League when he's playing against Real Madrid. He looked very, very good there. So he's shown he can do it. I'm sure this guy will be a great player. But if Arsenal sign him, we sign him, you know, fair enough. It's not a signing that really I sit here and say, wow, what a signing. Because it's a good signing, but there's always we, we can do better. And I think there is strikers out there which we can do better. Um, there's proven strikers out there. I still think this guy, he's sh he's shown it on in stages that he can do it. I still think he's got a lot to prove. Yeah, I think what well, he's he's 21. He's still very young as we know. We know he's got so much potential. Got so much hype around his name. But um, yeah, he still needs for me to to prove himself. And it's what it's it's, it's, it's every sign is a risk, but it's a, more of a risk when you're signing a guy from from the Bundesliga. When no, nobody watches Windows League and nobody watches RB Leipzig, let's not kid ourselves. You, people look at the YouTube clips, people look at the YouTube compilations and get all giddy about it. That, that is the, you know, that is what happens. Yeah, people get giddy about YouTube clips, but the YouTube clips don't show the full aspect. YouTube clips just show you guys seeing his fantastic goals, powerful, it looks like, oh, insane shots, powerful shots, but you don't, sh it doesn't show the full player. Yeah, I like to use the eye test. Stats don't lie as well. You know, you can look at the stats and you had a good end to the season. I want to see the eye test. And the end, the eye test has seen this guy consistently. I haven't seen him consistently enough to really make a full judgment. Um, however, other strikers I have seen consistently enough. I've seen Izak week in, week out. I've seen Oli Watkins week in, week out. Um, I've seen Oshiman. Obviously, I do watch Italian League because I'm Italian. So I watch Napoli quite a lot because I'm, I'm from Napoli as well. So I have seen Oshman this season. Oshman scored 15 goals for Napoli. They are awful. They finished 10th. And he scored 15 goals in that awful Napoli side. It was the worst type of football you'll ever see from Napoli. Awful, awful team they were last season. He still managed to 15 goals. So I've seen these strikers I want over, over uh, Sesco. But yeah, if we sign him, we sign him. Yeah, I don't think he's a bad player. I think it'd be a good signing. You know, it's, it is a bit of a risk because you're paying... Again, around 55 million, still a hefty price tag. Uh, but ultimately, it's going to give us an, another option there. It's going to give us, you know, we, we'll have Havertz there and it will be Benjamin Shesko. Not the, for me, not the ideal choice, but still a good choice. It's, it's still a good choice there. You know, again, gives us, hopefully, that's something different. But when I watch him, I think he's so similar to Kai Havertz, by the way. Just the way how he plays. Um, how he can fit in different roles as well in the attack. I think he's so... Hence why I think Ante wants him as well. So that's where it's see what happens with this Sesco saga, guys. I'm sure it's going to go on and on and on in the window. Uh, but Fabrizio basically came out and saying that 
He's not made a decision yet. Three clubs very interested. Arsenal, United, Chelsea all want to sign him. He's rejected rumours from Saudi Arabia. He doesn't want to go to Saudi Arabia. He wants Premier League. But he could stay at Leipzig. Smash that button on the video, guys. Sub channel if you are new. Leave a full down below. And I'll see you in my next one. Ciao.